Hi, it's Asma here, and I'm back to the Tottenham and England football match series, and as you can see today, we have Tottenham match in the Premier League at home to West Brom. We are fifth at the moment, with only a few games gone, doing it more. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll do better um, come the end of the season. And, well, you know, we've, I think we won both our opening games, haven't we? Yeah, or all, all three of them. I can't even remember how many games we've had. It's been a while, well, it hasn't been a while since I recorded, but it's been a while since I started the season, so I'm not quite sure exactly how many games I've had. Um, but I know this is the ninth episode, I'm pretty sure. Um, West Brom are 10th, we are 5th, um, and we've got a game coming up against Leverkusen at home in the Champions League in, in midweek, so I've rested a few players in my mind for that, but um, I've also tried to keep it quite a strong team, because I don't want to, you know, West Brom are a strong team as well, um, and I don't want to just risk everyone, so we've got Lloris and Goal, Walker at right back, Corker come in at centre back with Samba, Alaba at left back, Hamshik and Vidal in the midfield, Valencia, Bale, Neymar and Falcao, um, for the Champions League game I actually think I'm going to play um, Cavani, just because I think, you know, I know Neymar's good, or I, well, I don't know he's good, but I, I hope he's good anyway. But I know, you know, he's got a big reputation and everything, but I think I just want to play a slightly more safe before I know a bit more about um, Neymar and, and when Neymar and just leave him out of like, the really big games or the ones I really need to win um, until he's really settled down into the team. Because I don't want to throw him into games like that. Um, whereas Cavani's had half a year, he's, rel he, you know, I know he works in my system relatively well. Maybe not as good of, as Falcao, um, but or even Adebayor. Um, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I can use Cavani just slightly better in that game. Unless, like, you know, oh, there's the one nil. Um, Falcao getting the goal. Unless obviously Neymar scores like I don't know a hat trick or whatever in this game, then I'll have to be, then I'll be like two tempted. Um, or he just puts in a really good performance, but the thing name is he hasn't been putting in brilliant performances so far. Um, but I know I can sell him on for a lot if I really need to. But I'm not. I'm going to give him at least the whole season. I'm not going to be selling him in January like I did with um, what's his face, Damian. But Damian was just that bad. You know, he just he would miss. It's not like Neymar's just not really been getting involved so much as Damian would actually go through on goal and miss chances, just easy chances. And he, he was like what Torres was. He, it's not like he was playing badly, although Torres is, but he's, Torres does get chances and just misses them. Whereas when Neymar gets a chance, he tends to take them. Um, I'm not sure whether he's actually scored for us yet. Um, he doesn't really have many chances, and the ones he has had, he hasn't done any terrible misses as far as I can remember. Um, Corker now. And another thing with Neymar is we could always use him on the wing. I'm training him in the, on the right wing. I think um, if he can get better than um, Valencia, then we've just got a younger, better player for free than Valencia. Um, so that would be really, really good. Falcao, Alaba now. Really pleased with the signing of Alaba. He started so well. Um, probably been my best signing of this season, I'd say. Um, yeah. I mean, apart from obviously Neymar for free, but in terms of actual player, Neymar. Oh! He probably should have put that one in, but it was still a good save. Um, Belt in, Samba has the header, and it just gets tipped over the bar by, is it Foster, I think, again. Um, Bale again, puts it in, Walker, and Samba gets there, but you can only take it out for a throw into West Brom. Bale now with a free kick on target, but Foster is it's straight on. It's an easy save for him there. Uh, one nil up still though, so it's not going too badly. It's going quite well actually. Oh, Vidal has been forced off. That's something I really didn't want. Um, well, I really didn't want that. Uh, no Sandra on the bench, of course. So let's get on for Laney. Um, hope that he can do well. Uh, yeah, here we go. Bale straight at the wall. Valencia. Dawson heads it clear, we've got the throw in there. Walker's gonna go across and take this. Not gonna get to see it though. Hamshik has made a lot of mistakes today. Um, okay, we'll take that on note. Darren Bent scored for Aston Villa, just something to keep in mind for my England um, career. Well, England selection. Nice to see him um, in form, I guess. Fellaini, Bale. Fellaini, Hamshik. I mean, that's a good pass from Hamshik, you know. Oh, Neymar, get in, you beautiful man. It's, yeah, that is his first ever Tottenham goal. Um, that doesn't include friendly, so he may have scored them friendly, but that is his first 
competitive Tottenham goal. Um, that's good, at least he's off the mark now though. Just tapped it back and Neymar just smashes it in. Really good to see that. Um, makes me feel a lot less nervous about how good he's going to be as a striker for us. Um, he's got a good rating, but I'm, I just, I'm really worried because so did Damian and so did um, jo Jovetic. And Jovetic wasn't too bad. Um, it's just he wasn't that great either. And um, we obviously had the um, Jovetic had the Capital One Cup semi-final, which he basically won for us with like four goals. I brought him as a substitute just before half time because of an injury. Then just brought him off because <laughs> I thought he's done all he can do now. Berbatov's pulled one back for Fulham. Defoe scored as well. Um, you know that's that's interesting because he is an England he is an English striker. I don't think he's retired yet, so that's someone to consider as well for England. Um, obviously had him at Tottenham before, and he left he left for Newcastle. And he's been doing well for Newcastle ever since. Um, and he didn't do too badly at Tottenham either here. Um, it's just you know he's just getting old a bit, and I just thought I could cash in on him. Um, I was thinking about doing that with Adebayor, but to be honest, Adebayor just seems that that a bit too good just to let go. And I might just try and keep him until he really just starts going down because he is a really good backup. And I found it hard to actually sign good strikers in this game. Obviously Falcao, that was just going to be obviously easy. There's an easy one to um, bring in because it was at Atletico, who are a similar club or were at the time, so a similar status club to Tottenham. Obviously, we're like pretty much the best team in the world now um, <laughs> we're getting a bit cocky here but you know well, I mean, we're, we're, one that we're up there um, and Falcao now and you know um, he wanted to leave as well so um, and also we had the money for him um, but there are players that obviously I couldn't just go out and sign Rooney because first of all he may not, I think he, we, he would join but obviously it's going to cost a hell of a lot and that is a brilliant goal for Neymar I'm pretty sure it was a volley um, I don't. I wouldn't have expected Neymar to power that one with his head that much. But how about this? Look at this. The cross in, and just drifts off his marker, and a jumping volley. What a goal! You know, maybe my instincts are wrong. Maybe he's going to be an absolute class player. Who knows? He's got an 8.8 .8 rating today. He's looks like he's going to be man of the match anyway. Um, you know, I never know with Neymar. Sometimes he's good in football manager. Sometimes he's bad. It just depends on how he fits into your system. Uh, it looks like he's going to fit into mine here. I really want to just play out of my all in this match. Um, just g give him the last 20 odd minutes and see how he does. Because he's not going to be playing too much anymore. I mean, but he is still a fantastic player. And I don't want him to just die as a player. <laughs> um, I want him to continue to play. Ala was looking exhausted out there. I probably should have thought about that before I'm bringing on. Um, Otherwise, Farquhar didn't really need to come off. Um, Valencia here, just taking it past Sermon. Neymar, oh, how do I almost get into it, but the defender just in front of him gets there first. Bale now, he's going to whip it in. Oh, Neymar causing trouble again with Adebayor. Uh But Foster holds onto it. Um, Samma clears it away. Uh, comes back in with Shona. Do Dorans, McCarthy, Malumbu. Love Malumbu, he's a fantastic player. Jakob. Malumbu has a shot, but it's over the bar. Um, we put, got this match pretty much um, won now. Uh, it's pretty much sealed. Uh, are you there? Neymar can he get his hat trick or can he set someone up? Plays it out to Walker. Adebayor, ooh, just heads it wide. It's saying he should have scored, but to be fair, the cross was just behind him. Doesn't look like Alaba is going to be playing this next match against whatever you call it. Uh, Leverkusen, ooh, and it looks like Crescito is going to get his uh, competitive debut for us. In this next match again. Oh, Corker. Oh, I thought the referee was booking him again. He was just waiting for the free kick, thank God. I thought he was going to be sent off. Uh, it won't make a huge difference because we've got a lot of defenders as good if, and a couple better even than um, D Corker. I mean, how can you blow the whistle there, referee dickhead? Oh, well, we've won the match anyway. It doesn't really matter. Oh, no, I've done it again. I hate my life. Um, I would try and ha try and make it better, you know. Just I, he said nothing, Drogba. I would try and make it better, but um, well, it, they always get confused, and it's just bad anyway. It just gets worse. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. We are we have got a game in hand on top of the place. Well, the rest of the league apart, and that'll be against West Ham. Um, and we're on nine points. We obviously won all our opening games. We're the only team. 
to have won all our games so far. So that is really good. Neymar got my other match, fully deserved for me. Um, he didn't play badly, but his two goals as well were good goals, and he fully deserved it in my opinion. Um, other players, Bale was doing a lot, but he just had way too many free kicks that were just poor, and his corners weren't great. Falcao got a good goal, um, but I wouldn't really have given it to him. I couldn't really have given it to anyone else, so Neymar fully deserves it really for me. Um, wait, let's continue. And fitness can oh, I think we get to see that one. Let's look at the other results. Liverpool really doing well this season because uh, last season they started off really poor and then this season they've started really well. And John Johnson, I'm guessing it's Adam Johnson. Yeah. Um, and Henderson scoring the goals. Henson another one to consider for England maybe. More for the future I think, but he has got some good stats there. Um, and let's just quickly get a report on him. Andrew Cole can do that. Um Brighton getting a win, um, they look like they've started well, 8th Cardiff after their amazing last season, um, losing and they're 20th now. City lost which is always good for us, um, Wolves getting the win over them. Obviously it's still early days but as long as City are losing now, uh, you know it's just points off of them for the end of the season. So Welbeck, this is my club report, so he's a 2.5 star striker for my club. Which I didn't, you know, that's, I feel like that's technically as good as Adebayor, you know, as good as David Villa. Um, so that's what I thought, you know, he was never going to be as good as Neymar, Falcao, Cavani, or he would already be my team. Um, Yarmolenko, I don't really need Yarmolenko though, there's no point in wasting my money on him, even though I do love wasting my money. Oh, that's something actually. Arturo Vidal, he's out for two weeks, that's not too bad. Uh, no, we can deal with that, we've got players like Sandro. Are you, um, what's his face, Fellaini, who can come in? Um, so we've got a lot of players who can come in for him. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy the video, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And tell me how your football manager save is going, and I will see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.